Hi kids, my name is Yuli. Hi, my name is Nile. Hi Nile. Hello. You know what we're doing today? No. We're reading a book. A book? Yes, an illustrated picture book. Mm. And it's my favorite. Then my it must favorite be in the silly. whole entire world. Hmm. What is it? It's a book by Nicholas Allen and it's called Cinderella's Bum. <gasps> you said the B word. Oops. It's a book. You can read about it. Cinderella's Bum and Other Bottoms by Nicholas Allen. This book belongs to Zoya and Zane, my children. To Madeline. Now, there are these knickers on a line. <laughs> Knickers, Father Christmas, Snow White, Houdini, Prince Charming, Ooh. Buffalo Bill, Grumpy, Queen Victoria's, Cinderella's, and the author Nicholas Allen's. And this is my daughter Zoya. She's illustrated her knickers. And Zane, my son, has drawn his, and this is mine. It's got words, Shakespeare, things that I love on it. Now let's start reading. What do you suppose the story is about? Well, a bum. It's about a bum. Well done. My big sister's always worried about her bum. But I think it's lovely. This summer, she wouldn't come swimming because her swimsuit was too tight. My bum must have grown, she moaned. So I told her. Mouths are all shapes and sizes. Noses are all shapes and sizes. And bumps are all shapes and sizes too. Big bumps can be useful. Santa has a big bum, especially for crash landings. Oh, unexpected trouble. <laughs> Queen Victoria had a big bum. She ruled England for 60 years, so she needed it to sit on the throne all the time. Ho hum. Now Houdini, the famous escapologist, had a small bum. He could escape from anything, even a milk churn. But if he had a large bum, he might have not been famous at all. Help! Buffalo Bill had a big bum to soften the bumpy rides. Sometimes I wish I had a bigger bottom too. There are short bottoms and long bottoms. Some bottoms have trumpets in them. Posh ones have clarinets. You can have a long nose and a short bottom or a long bottom and a short nose. Cinderella had a small feet, but a big bum. The ugly sisters had big feet, but small bums. Really? So it's lucky Cinderella lost her shoe at the ball and not her knickers. <laughs> if the prince had loved Snow White for her bottom, 
it would have been difficult for the wicked queen to talk to her mirror. Mirror, mirror, don't be rotten. Say I have the nicest bottom. But if the princess had had a large bottom, she might have never felt the pee. So I said to my sister, be proud of your bottom. It's lovely. But my big sister still wouldn't come swimming. So I finally told her, you don't need to worry about your bottom anyway. Why not? She asked. Because, I said, that swimming suit you've been trying to get into all this time It's fine. What? And there they go off happy. Yippee! The end. Hailey, what did you think of the story? I loved it. It was amazing. Thank you so much. Keep reading because you are amazing. You're important. You're special. You're unique. You're kind. You are precious. You are loved. Bye.